So we're on to the next part of our Lego character. Um, if you remember, the last thing we did was we kind of did our midsection over here. Kind of, um, again, an odd place to stop off at. Um, so we're almost there. We just need to start working on our legs, yeah? And um, so that'll be our, our next uh, task, okay? So we'll start it off similarly to how we started off our um, our midsection, yeah? So right now, um, we always kind of try to work with our most difficult shape. Um, if you notice right over here, that is our cylinder. That's probably the hardest thing to shape. So um, what we're going to do here is drop off a cylinder to start off. Um, I'm going into my settings over here. Uh, I shouldn't have changed from the previous time, but if you can just make sure these match up. And then we're going to drop this one off. Yeah, um, It won't show up too well in our perspective view because it's going to show up in the middle, but in our side view, yeah, we can um, look at it because we do have this the shading set to x-ray um, i'm gonna rotate this so uh, we're gonna kind of turn it in the rotate z direction we'll put that at 90 degrees and we're also going to place it so again this is going to be the beginning of the leg so we do want to kind of um, place that based on the guide it looks like someplace just around here should be pretty good all right now um, once we have this in place um, we also have to make sure that we have our proportions correct. So I'm going to use my scale tool. Yeah, so press R. Okay, let's scale that out and try to get it so that it matches up as best as you can with the guide. Yeah, so something like this should work pretty well. Um, the other thing I'm going to ask you to check is the front view. Yeah, so one thing you're going to notice about the front view that maybe is not as present in the side view is um, this is actually the first time that we're going to be um, moving over your object. Yeah, so I'm gonna move this over to the side over here. Um, I am gonna actually overlap just because um, when we're scaling it back in, we can kind of use that to scale in. Um, now we're only gonna build one leg. The second leg, obviously we can kind of do a duplication. Yeah, so um, right over here, it looks like it's a little bit on the wide side. So I'm gonna kind of scale this in just a bit. Um, and you'll see right over here, yeah, we, we're going to have just a slight, like they're adjacent, but there's a little bit of a space. Yes, yeah, a very, very slight space right there. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is kind of take uh, these vertices over here. If you notice, as it's kind of going down, it's tapering a bit. So I'm going to take these vertices right here. Um, just use the rotate tool. Yeah, so um, again, right click, go into vertex mode, and then um, rotate tool, which is your E. And then we're just going to slightly turn it so that it's looking or it's kind of um, parallel to our guide. I'm also going to kind of bring this up, you know, just so it kind of flattens out a little bit. So something along uh, these lines right here. So that should be pretty close. Yeah. Okay, it's very subtle. Um, this is, um, yeah, super, super subtle to do. All right. Okay. So we're pretty much set in our front and our side view. Um, interestingly enough, that's all we're going to need for the hip. Um, our next part is going to be kind of extruding out the legs. So I'm kind of taking a look over here. Um, if you notice, um, when I'm extruding, uh, I'm going to right click and go into face mode. Yeah, um, the faces that we're going to be selecting are all the ones underneath here, all the way up until here. Yeah, so this is kind of our area. Um, just to kind of uh, do my selection right now, I'm going to grab this. So click drag, get all of those, and then I'm going to hold down shift and also grab these. Yeah. So if you notice, I'm grabbing the pizza slices as well as the faces on the bottom. Yeah. So it'll look like this in our perspective view all the way around. Okay. Um, now in actuality, we only want the bottom faces. So what I'm then going to do is press Q yeah, to get back into my selection tool, hold down shift and just get rid of these pizza slices. So I don't need these four and I don't need these two as well yeah so I'm um, sorry yeah that should about be about right so those five and these two so I think seven in total okay and then um, what that'll then give you is just the faces facing downwards yeah so perfect for us um, we're then going to use our side view to extrude those down so we can do a command E and then use your move tool yeah so if you can press W yeah so again edit mesh extrude or command E and then we're going to um, bring this down so use the W key and we're gonna kind of bring this down right over here now the good thing is this lines up really really well with um, our two vertical um, guides yeah now one thing you may notice is um, if you continue to extrude this it looks really weird it does have that rounded edge to it um, so we do want to make sure all of these faces are a little bit easier to work with 
Um, the way to do that is to flatten it. So um, real easy to do. We're just going to press R to get into our scale tool and then go and find the cube that is in the Y direction, um, scale it down. Yeah, so that'll make it nice and clean. Um, I'm going to use the move tool to kind of place it where I, uh, where I kind of assume where the knee is. Yeah, so right around here looks pretty good Yeah, for the knee. All right, um, but we're pretty set. Um, the last thing I'm going to ask you to do here is um, check your guide. Yeah, so um, I'm going to kind of ignore actually this middle, um, this um, as it goes towards the mid midsection. But I did kind of want to address this area right over here. So I'm going to go into my vertex mode, kind of get all of these right here. It looks a little um, frazzled. Yeah, so I am going to go into my scale tool, uh, grab all of these vertices and then scale it to the right and then also use my move tool to bring this over yeah so that'll keep it um from being like too out of a surface yeah so that'll kind of bring us down to over there okay so if you notice i am going to be kind of jumping back and forth between the two all right so um looking pretty good yeah um we have our shape on here now all we have to do really is jump back and forth between our side and our front views to make the rest of our faces yeah now again i want all the faces on the bottom so I'm going to kind of go in this view, I click drag, I'm going to catch middle, catch bottom, and then hold down the shift key and just drag a little rectangle across the middle. Yeah, so that'll get our, that get our pieces over there. And then the rest is going to be pretty simple. We're going to stay in our side view. I'm going to extrude. Yeah, so um, extrude command E or NMS extrude. Bring this down. I'm going to bring this down right to where the um, foot starts to jut out or jut forward. I'm also going to extrude a third time yeah so this is our third extrude on this and bring this one all the way down to the heel yeah so we bring this all the way down to the heel all right so that's looking pretty good um let's see oh actually i gotta bring this down just a little bit more but right about there yeah um, we're not too worried about this we can kind of enact that when we put our holding edges in um we are also going to have to grow this forward however so i'm going to select this face in the front Okay, and then we can extrude to that one, of course, and bring that all the way to where the toe tip would be. So right about there. All right, um, so we're almost good. Um, last check is to make sure that the leg is still doing that kind of um, outwards taper. You know, so I'm going to go into my vertex mode over here. I'm just going to grab um, all of these vertices over here. So if you notice, I do a click drag that will actually catch everything even on the back side, which is really helpful. Um, we're then going to use the move tool and bring this out. We're not going to go too extreme. In fact, I'm not going to really pay that much attention to um, this area right here. Um, I think that's just an illustration to show that the foot is sticking out. Um, in reality, in Maya, yeah, we don't have that um, lens distortion yeah, for pictures. So um, we, we just kind of have to bring that outwards. Yeah, and We should be pretty good right there. All right. Okay. And so there's our basic shape for our um, leg. Yeah, so it's going to already look pretty good. Um, one thing that you'll notice, though, is it does have a slightly different finish from every um, from the torso and from the midsection. Um, if we go and remember, we can take a look at what would this look like if we were to smooth it. So if you go and press three, you'll get this. OK, it is horrifying. Um, so what we definitely have to do is do our holding edges if you want to create that like nice little um, plasticky kind of look over here. All right, so here's where our holding edges are going to go. Okay, um, there are probably going to be a few that I'm going to be dropping in later as well. But for now, the main ones that we're focusing in on is going to be on the outside of the leg. Yeah, so I'm going to hold a, I'm going to create a holding edge right over here. Yeah, so that, that'll kind of keep that edge from kind of folding in. Um, other key points are going to be where the, um, the toes kind of go move forward. I'm going to do a holding edge right there and also right over here. Yeah, so that'll keep that very much in place. Um, we are also going to be making sure that the tip of the toes are not um, too, uh, they're not too um, rounded. Yeah, so, but we do want a little bit. So I'm going to kind of push this out to maybe about here. Okay, um, we do also want to do the same thing near the top over here. Yeah, so both of these things will kind of keep that in place. Okay, so we have both of those. Okay, um, we definitely want to have something on the bottom. Yeah, the bottom will kind of keep that like that shape again. 
and then um, yeah we are almost done with this outside portion we just have a few more things to do but let's take a look at it i'm going to press the q key object mode press three okay it's improving particularly on the outside our legs are actually looking pretty good from here or the bottom oh, sorry the feet the feet are looking pretty good a um, little bit mushy as we get near the top um, but remember where we came from which is something that looked a lot more like this yeah so that's where we had where that's where we were before especially this area this part's a little bit more has a little bit more holding edges but this side yeah it's definitely an improvement all right um so just a few more things that we're gonna do to kind of keep this shape on this side and then we're gonna um, repeat that stuff for the interior of the leg um, so once again i'm gonna go mesh tools insert edge loop i'm gonna drop one off right over here yeah so that'll keep the um the circular area from being overwhelmed um the other thing um, that i'm going to add in is a, a holding edge within this cylinder circle right over here okay um to do that i'm going to switch up yeah so um unfortunately when we do an insert edge on here because these are um these are tries yeah so triangles um it will not allow us to insert an edge over there so we're going to have to go old school um, I'm going to right click on here, go into face mode, um, select all the faces, yeah, by clicking on where they all meet. Yeah, so click and drag. Okay, that'll get me all the faces in that circle. Um, I would then do a command E or edit mesh extrude. Okay, and then that'll let us get into that mode. And then finally, we'll just do an R to scale. And then we'll just scale this in. Yeah, and again, this will really help to keep the integrity of that circle shape. Yeah. All right, so once we're done with that, again, I'm going to object mode, press Q, press three. Okay, there's our um, leg. Um, again, the outside will look outstanding. Okay, this will look really great. And then um, we just got to enact those few things on the other side. Yeah, so there's not actually a lot that we have to do now. I'm just going to go back into one mode. Um, we're going to insert our edges. Yeah, so remember we had... Um, I think the only one that we're gonna have to do is this one right here. So that'll kind of keep um, the interior in place. I think everything else should be um, carry over from what we did on the outside. And then um, the last step is we're going to go into here and get our faces for this one. Yeah, so go into faces and select all of them. Okay, um, now note um, for some of us, you may not be able to see this because it's going to be a little bit into the midsection. If that's the case, no problem. Make sure you go to shading and x-ray. Yeah, that'll allow you to see it even if it's kind of like in, into a little bit deeper in the body. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Um, but again, when you do your shift select and catch all those faces, you're then going to do your command E. Okay, um, that'll then get you back into your extra tool. Then you just press R. We can kind of scale this in. Okay. And then now we have all of our pieces, yeah. And then I'm going to go to shading, change to x-ray, okay. And then our leg, when we do our three, yeah. So I'm going to jump out um, and press three. And our leg should look great, yeah. So that looks that looks pretty awesome. All right, so we're set as far as that goes. Um, what we're then going to do is make sure that we smooth this. So I'm going to go and uh, solidify this. So we're going to go mesh and smooth. Okay, so that'll just add a few more edges, but we don't have to go into three mode anymore. Again, really weird pattern in here. We could clean that up, but I'm gonna kind of leave that alone. Okay, and um, we are gonna be um, duplicating this so that it is on the other side. Um, the way to do that is if we go into your edit um, menu, we are gonna go into uh, duplicate special. Yeah, so I'm gonna set up duplicate special. Um, click on the square next to that. Yeah, and then um, here's our settings for that. Uh, basically, we do want to have a copy. Yeah, so if you can, a uh, geometry type, if you can do a copy. And then um, we can kind of group this under world. Yeah, so we'll kind of group this under world so that they're not connected. Um, I'm going to put my scale at minus one. Yeah, so that'll mirror it over in the x direction. Yeah, so this is x, this is y, this is z. x just means that this is going to show up um, flipped. Yeah, so it'll show up flipped. Now, when we do a duplicate special, it is going to kind of show up like this. Whoops. Okay. It looks like I kind of messed that up. Um, I'm going to undo. It looks like I have to freeze this first. So everything's in place. Um, I forgot we did have a rotation in here. So if you notice, it kind of flipped upwards, almost like he kicked, yeah, which is not what I was looking for. Um, so to make sure that uh, the all of this information is like zeroed out and we have like just a clean model, 
I'm just going to go into modify and I'm going to choose the freeze transformations. Yeah, so modify and freeze transformations, which you're then going to notice in the channel boxes, everything goes to zeros and ones. Yeah, so zeros and ones. Um, I should also make sure, yeah, to have labeled this. Yeah, I've been pretty bad about it for whatever reason um, in, um, for, for this tutorial. Um, but yeah, okay, so Lego left leg, yeah, that works, yeah, some nice alliteration as well over there. Okay, um, we're then going to mirror this over, so I'm going to repeat that process to duplicate special. I'm going to go into square here. Um, I actually don't have to change anything now that this is all zeroed out, because again, our minus one is going to be in the x direction. When we do our duplicate special, it'll flip, okay, um, very subtle, yeah, but you'll notice, yeah, okay, now it's facing in the opposite direction. I'm going to use my move tool um, and just kind of drop that off, yeah, and so there we have it now we have our two legs in place okay um so those should be working pretty well okay um so uh, we now have a character that can literally run around which is great um we do have um two more things that we're gonna uh, sorry we do have a couple more things that we're gonna focus in on uh, but clearly i know you folks are noticing there are no arms okay that will be a for uh, that'll be our focus for the next tutorial